Hello everybody, I hope we are all doing well and staying healthy. My name is Alex and I'm the sales manager here at Fortress Power. Today I'm going to be conducting a quick interview with our chief engineer at Fortress, Eric. Eric, thank you for joining us here this afternoon. Thanks for having me today. You're welcome. So today the purpose of this interview is that we've got a lot of questions and excitement regarding our newest battery that we are releasing, the eFlex 5.4. So that being said, Eric, what would you say are some of the differences between the eFlex unit and our existing 5 kilowatt hour battery we hold? Both of them are designed for the energy storage purpose. So the current version is designed for whole energy storage to deal with much more easier situation. Uh, low power output and input. So the new E-Flex, we basically re-engineer almost everything. So there's few major differences. Number one, so the BMS, we embedded with much more powerful computer system. So make the things more versatile and more communicable with the different devices in the future. Mm -hmm. And second, so the cell structure, we re-engineer the structure as well, so make the structure more robust and can throw out and then take more power from the chargers and also give more power to the appliances. And then the third one, so the case design, we design the system with uh, the aluminum extrusion case, so that makes the system be able to deal with the IP65 requirement in the market. Mm -hmm. And all those things make this uh, product more versatile in terms of different applications. Mm -hmm. Interesting you mentioned that. Can you kind of tell me what applications you typically see the eFlex being used for? Uh, our primary application is still in the home energy storage. So this system can be floor mount, wall mount, and the rack mount. And the, the uh, beset energy storage in the home, so this one can be used for the telecommunication energy storage, which usually is all door application. So this IP65 will help on these things. And then for the larger or medium size of commercial system, so we can do the railway transportation energy backup system all the way up to a quarter megawatt. Hmm, interesting. Well, Eric, thank you for your time here today. And everybody, make sure you check us out next week where we'll be going over some of the uh, compatibility of the eFlex unit, scalability of the unit itself, and along with some other key features that it has. So thank you and make sure you check us out next week. All right. Thank you. See you next week.